press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello friends, welcome to Phoenix Educare. Welcome to the third chapter of 10th Maharashtra State Board Geography. The chapter is Physiography and Drainage. So this is the second part of the, the, of the chapter. So in the first part, we have studied about physiography, divi physiographic divisions of India. In the second part, we will study about physiographic divisions of Brazil. So in the first part, we saw that in India, there are some places or there are some mountains that are about 6000 meters, like uh, Himalayan mountain. But uh, there are also pl plateaus in India. We are having peninsula region in India or we are having plains in India. We are having islands in India like Andaman and Nicobar Island. So in this chapter or in this part, we will study about physiographic divisions of Brazil. So if you see Brazil, there are highlands in Brazil. Highlands are just like plateau region or we are having plains here. Amazon basin is a plain area or we are having Brazilian highland. Here we are having great escarpment. There, but if you see the height of the Brazil, it is not more than 1000 meters or around 1000 to 2000 meters. So highest part, highest altitude of Brazil is up to 2000 meters. Sabse jada uncha jaga Brazil mein 2000, 3000 meters hai. Usse koi jaga jada bada jaga nahi hai. So as compared to India, Brazil's altitude are, or, is less. If uh, Let us see, uh, there is no continuous mountain in Brazil like we are having in India, like Himalayan mountain that are extending from Kashmir to Arunachal Pradesh. We are having Western Ghats, Eastern Ghats, or we are having uh, uh, mountains like Arauli Ranges, Vindhya, Satpura Ranges. There are no major mountain ranges in Brazil. Also, you cannot uh, also you cannot see major peaks in Brazil. No coastal plains are restricted in this expanse. So there are no coastal plains. There are no wide coastal plains in this country. Coastal plains be both uh, with come hai, coastal plains ka. Let us see what are the physiographic divisions of Brazil. The first we are having highlands. So there are two highlands: Guiana Highland and Brazilian highland. Highland are just like plateau region. Then here we are having great escarpment. This is the region of great escarpment. Then we are having coastal region. Coastal region we are having uh, uh, northern Atlantic Ocean here and southern Atlantic Ocean. So here this, there is a coastal area. Then we are having plains. So plains are between Amazon river basin and Paraguay river basin. Here there is a little bit plain area. And we are having island group. There are some islands that are near the coast. Sea coast ke paas hai kuch islands. Or kuch islands sea mein hai, Atlantic Ocean mein. First we will talk about highland. See southern Brazil is occupied by extensive plateau. So this is the plateau region. Ye jo yellowish region dikh raha hai, ye plateau region hai. It is occupied by extensive plateau. It is differently described as Brazilian highland. Or this is the Brazilian highland or Brazilian shield or Brazilian plateau. Brazilian and Guiana Highland together form the core of South American continent. So this is Guiana Highland and this is Brazilian Highland. So these two parts are acting as a core of South American continent. The main part of Guiana Highland is in Venezuela. So here we are having Venezuela country and it is extending up to French Guiana. This is a French Guiana country. So from Venezuela to French Guiana, there is a, we are having Guiana Highland. It is also named after country Guiana. The uh, it is covered the states of Roramia, Para, Amapa. Here we are having Amapa regions of or Amapa states of Brazil. So here the three states are there. The lower part of the highland is found in Brazil. So here we are having lower part. Yahan Venezuela or yahan French Guiana mein higher part hai. Height yahan jada hai, yahan height kam hai. There is a peak here. Peak name is Pico de Neblina. Meter height is 3000. 14 meters height. This is the highest peak in Brazil. In, in India, we are having peaks that are more than 7,000, more than 8,000 meters. But here the peak is 3,014 meters in height. The name of the peak is Pico de Nabilina. This is the highest peak in Brazil. Uh, and lies in the border between Brazil and Venezuela. So it is in, in the border between Brazil and Venezuela. Here we are having Brazil, here we are having Venezuela. The peak is here. The triangle that is shown here. This is the peak. To the east, and south of the Brazilian highland have altitude more than 1000 meters. So if you go to Brazilian highland now, so region to the east and south are having highlands. This is orange region. Hai. This is the eastern region and southern region. Here the height is more than 1000 meters. But in the other parts, the altitude is between 500 to 1000 meters. Altitude means height. So here in the southern part, here the in the interior part, the height is 500 to 1000 meters. The highland gradually slopes towards north and slopes are not very steep. अगर ये हाईलैंड की बात करें तो यहां हाइट ज्यादा है और इसके अंदर जाएंगे तो हाइट कम है 
तो ज्यादा हाइट होता है और जहां एरिया में कम हाइट होता है तो स्लोप ज्यादा से नीचे तक होता है सो so, स्लोप कैसे डिफाइन करेंगे कि ज्यादा हाइट से कम हाइट पे तो वैसा स्लोप होगा सो ब्राजीलियन हाईलैंड का स्लोप यहां से इस तरफ से इस तरफ होगा तो यहां ज्यादा हाइट और इस इंटीरियर पार्ट में कम हाइट सो स्लोप इज फ्रॉम दिस रीजन टू दिस रीजन बट अ स्लोप इज नॉट वेरी स्टीप सीधा स्टीप नहीं होता है स्लोप इफ यू गो टू एनी वाटर पार्क तो वहां 90 डिग्री जो स्लाइड होता है सीधा स्लाइड होता है उसका स्लोप स्लोप स्टीप होता है सीधा स्लोप होता है जेंटल स्लोप मतलब वहां स्लैंटिंग स्लाइड होगा तो जेंटल स्लोप सो जो भी लैंडफॉर्म का स्लोप सीधा होगा सीधा होगा उसे स्टीप स्लोप बोलते हैं और जो भी स्लैंटिंग होगा तो उसे जेंटल स्लोप बोलते हैं सो योर द लैंडफॉर्म स्लोप इज नॉट स्टीप सीधा हाइट डिक्रीज नहीं हो रहा है उस कम 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 लिमिट में हाइट डिक्रीज हो रहा है डिक्रीज हो रहा है Towards the north, the slopes are steep but not abrupt. So if you go to north of the Brazilian Highland, the slopes are steep but not abrupt. Breaks नहीं है continuous break नहीं है कुछ time के बाद slope कम 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 होते जा रहा है तो इस gentle slope है The number of rivers take off from the terminal point of highland and flow northward to meet Atlantic Ocean. So there are many rivers that are uh, taking terminal. They are ending here and they are meeting the Atlantic Ocean. Here we are having Atlantic Ocean. here we are having san francisco river that is and that is going and meeting the atlantic ocean some major rivers like uruguay paraguay parana originate from southern slopes of highland so here is the southern slope of highland so here we are having parana river here we are having paraguay river here we are having uruguay river this rivers are originating from here and they are entering this uruguay and argentina also up uh, the southern slopes of the highlands they are originating from southern slopes of highland and they are entering argentina here we are having argentina its slopes towards the east is steep and appears in the form of escarpment so this is the slope of brazilian highland here it is appearing as a escarpment escarpment means ek seedha slope hai seedha slope hai to yahan brazilian brazilian jo highland hai iska end hai uske baad escarpment this is the photograph of escarpment of brazil let us see what is the features of escarpment now great escarpment so great escarpment is located trending from this region to this region so there is a great escarpment of brazil though it occupies the very small area the nature of its slope and the effect it's it is having on the climate of brazil makes very separate physiographic division see yahan agar yahan agar height zyada hai yahan koi mountain hai aur is taraf se agar monsoon winds aa rahe hai ye jo orange region hai ye mountain hai iska height 1000 meters hai agar is taraf se monsoon winds aa rahe hai तो माउंटेन उसे बैरियर करके एक्ट करेगा माउंटेन उस मानसून विंड्स को रोक देगा और मानसून विंड्स वो माउंटेन को माउंटेन को पार करने के लिए मानसून विंड्स को राइज करेगा अगर आप इमेजिन करो कि ये एक माउंटेन है दिस इज अ माउंटेन एंड मानसून विंड्स आर कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस डिरेक्शन अगर इस डिरेक्शन से मानसून विंड्स आ रहे हैं और उनको ये माउंटेन को पार करके उस तरफ जाना है तो मानसून विंड्स को बढ़ना पड़ेगा उनको अपना उसको राइज करना पड़ेगा जितना मानसून विंड्स जितना क्लाउड्स राइज करेंगे उतना उनका वाटर होल्ड करने का कैपेसिटी कम हो जाएगा तो पूरा वाटर इस तरफ भेज देंगे पूरा वाटर यहाँ गिरेगा तो यहाँ ज्यादा रेनफॉल होगा माउंटेन के उस तरफ रेनफॉल कम होगा बिकॉज द कैरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ वाटर इज डिक्रीजिंग एंड द माउंट वाटर इज ऑल्सो लेस सो दिस रीजन इज गेटिंग मोर रेनफॉल एंड इफ यू गो टू द हाईलैंड रीजन देर द रेनफॉल इज लेस सो दिस स्कॉपमेंट इज हैविंग ग्रेट इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन द क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन ऑफ ब्राजील See, though it is occupies the very small area, the nature of its slope and effects it has on the climate makes separate physiographic region. The eastern side of highland is demarcated because of escarpment. So, ये जो eastern side है highland का, that is demarcated. Demarcated means divided by the highland. The eastern side of highland is demarcated because of escarpment. In this region, the altitude of escarpment is 790 meters. So, here the altitude of escarpment is 790 meters. Height of the escarpment is 790 meters. इन सम रीजन द हाइट डिक्रीजेस ग्रेजुअली सो कुछ रीजन में हाइट डिक्रीज होते जाता है द स्कॉपमेंट इज वेरी स्टीप पर्टिकुलरली फ्रॉम सोपोलो टू पोर्टो एलरिक यूर वी आर हैविंग सोपोलो टू पोर्टो एलरिक सो यूर द्लोप इज स्टीप द स्कॉपमेंट एक्ट एज अ बैरियर टू द साउथ ट्रेड विंस गिविंग राइज टू द रेन शेडो एरिया इन द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न पार्ट सो यूर वी आर हैविंग नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न पार्ट सो एज आई टोल्ड यू As the winds are coming from this direction, southeast direction, so winds को ये escarpment एक barrier करके act करता है winds को आगे नहीं बढ़ने देता है तो जितना escarpment ऊंचा होगा तो ये winds को rise करना पड़ेगा winds को ऊपर जाना पड़ेगा जितना winds ऊपर जाएंगे तो उसके अंदर जो moisture होता है वो वहाँ वहाँ दे, दे देगी so there this region is getting more rainfall, so this region is getting more rainfall as compared to the northeast region of highland, so this region is having great import great important on the uh, climatic conditions of Brazil and here we are having drought region. So this region is drain shadow area, 
and north eastern part of the island the region is uh, of the north north is called as rain shadow so called as drought quadrilateral then we are having coastal region coastal region of brazil brazil is about 7400 kilometers one may divide it into two coast first is northern coast uh, northern coast and eastern coast uh, the northern coast extends from ampara province to rio de granadin norte so here we are having ampara province and here we are having de norte so from this region from ampara province to rio de uh, granadin norte here we are having no northern coastal region and rest of the is southern coastal region of brazil this is this can be called as north atlantic coast so here we are having north atlantic ocean so this is called as north atlantic coast and here is the southern coast uh, from there the eastern coast extends from south the northern coast is characterized by mouth of many rivers including amazon therefore this region is low lying region so here we are having amazon basin amazon ka ye jo mouth hai ye jo mara jo island hai this is the mouth of amazon so here we are having uh, the mouth of amazon there are many islands that are made by amazon so this is the coastal region of so it is having uh, mouth of the river amazon eastern coast receives large number of smaller rivers so here we are having smaller rivers that are sending the water that are adding the water to this uh, atlantic ocean so here eastern coast is having small rivers as compared to the northern coast where we are having rivers like amazon the northern coast is characterized by mouth of many rivers including amazon in the southern coast we are having uh, small rivers low lying area on the coast lies the marajo island so in the northern coast we are having marajo island marajo and seo marcos bays Marajo is the largest coastal island located between mouth of river Amazon and mouth of river uh, mouth of river Tocantins. So here we are having Marajo river uh, Marajo island that is one of the largest island that is river, uh, located in the mouth of river between mouth of river Amazon and mouth of river mouth of river Tocantins. The north the eastern coast receives large number of smaller rivers. So you, we have seen there are many smaller rivers. Only major river is uh, only major river is San Francisco river. that is meeting atlantic ocean the brazilian coast is characterized by large number of beaches and sand dunes so there are large number of beaches and sand dunes uh, the brazilian coast is protected in small areas by coral reefs and atoll island island so this is the photograph of atoll island the atoll islands are made by coral reefs corals are marine animals so ye marine animals jab bhi mar jate hai ya unka death hota hai to ye colonies mein pehle rehte hai to jab bhi unka death hota hai to ek sath jab bhi death hota hai to ye ek hard form mein convert ho jate hai it is converting like a rock so ye rocks ke island ban jate so these are atoll islands so these atoll islands are also found in india they are found in lakshadweep they are found in andaman also in brazil also we are founding this atoll islands so we have seen brazilian coast is divided into northern coast and eastern coast so northern coast we are we have seen there are major rivers like amazon river or we are having marajo islands that is one of the biggest island in this country here we are having small rivers biggest river is uh, san francisco river then we have then we will talk about plains of brazil the plains in brazil are confined to two large areas namely amazon basin this is amazon basin amazon basin ka meaning hota hai amazon river jahan se flow karta hai amazon river jahan se travel karta hai this is amazon basin in the north and paraguay parana source region in southwest so here we are having parana river and paraguay river so ye paraguay ye paraguay and parana river ne jo bhi plain banaya river jab ye river jab hi apne sath jati hai to river sand sediment rock sab deposit karte jati hai whenever river is depositing this then there are plains that are found in this area so plain ban jata hai so we there are they, in brazil we are having two plains amazon plain or amazon river basin and then paraguay parana river basin uh, the plain in brazil are confined to largely two areas uh, amazon basin and paraguay parana basin amazon plains lying between two highland uh, highlands from the largest uh, largest plain land in brazil so there are two islands brazilian highland and guiana highland iske beech mein amazon river basin it is one of the largest plain region in the country the amazon basin is quite wide in the west about 1300 km here the width of the amazon basin is 1300 km and it is narrow eastward so yahan narrow hote ja raha hai here you can see the width is more the greenish region the width is more and here it is narrow so it is uh, narrow uh, the width is minimum between guiana highland Uh, and brazilian highland come closer so yaha guiana highland or brazilian highland jab bhi close aate so here the width is 2040 uh, uh, sorry 240 km as the river approaches the atlantic ocean the width of the plain increases so yaha wapas plain ka width increase increase ho jata hai yaha jyada width hai 1300 km whenever this guiana highland and brazilian highland are meeting 
year the width is 240 kilometers again the width is increasing they are mostly forested area and largely inaccessible due to frequent flooding and dense undergrowth so here these are amazon rain rainforest amazon ka jo forest it is one of the biggest forest in the world so it is largely inaccessible yahan hum andar tak nahi ja sakte kyunki floods hote hai ya fir wahan jana ke jane ke liye roads available nahi hai ya fir route available nahi hai so it is largely inaccessible region uh, it is a uh, floods are always occurring in this region most of the amazon plains are covered by tropical rainforest here we are having tropical rainforest so yahan hamesha rainfall hote rehta hai so here we are having tropical rainforest so it is lying amazon river basin uh, is lying in uh, near equator region so equator mein tropical rainfall hota hai hamesha rainfall hote rehta hai so here we are having uh, tropical rainforest or evergreen forest the other plains in brazil are located in the southwest part of the highlands so here we are having other plains that are located in paraguay parana river basin they form a source of paragua paraguay and parana river the re, the source region of paraguay slopes towards south while the source region of parana slopes towards southwest so paraguay river ka jo slope hai ye is taraf hai south ki taraf hai paraguay ki taraf hai aur parana river ka slope hai ye southwest ki taraf hai is taraf hai niche pantanal is one of the largest wetland in the world so this is the largest wetland ye swampy jagah hai ya daldal ka area hai it is it is a region of swamps and marshes in northwestern mato grosso do sul in brazil so this is located in the mato grosso do sul in brazil and it is extended into argentina so here it is extending to argentina so this swampy region so if you get a question which is a swampy region in brazil so remember the the name of the region is pantanal region then we are having high islands in brazil besides the mainland some islands are also included in brazil they can be classified into coastal islands and marine island so marine island are island that are located near the uh, located in the sea or that are called as marine island and then we are having coastal coastal region of brazil so there are two types of island coastal island and marine island most of the coastal island have formed due to deposition jab bhi river apna sand deposit karti hai तो रिवर में जो सैंड है रॉक्स है स्लिट है जब भी डिपॉजिट होता है डिपोजिशन की वजह से वहाँ आइलैंड्स बन जाते हैं सो वी हैव सीन देर इज वन आइलैंड कॉल्ड एज देर इज वन आइलैंड कॉल्ड एज मैराजो आइलैंड मैराजो आइलैंड इज बिकॉज ऑफ डिपोजिशनल वर्क ऑफ रिवर एमेजॉन सो एमेजॉन रिवर ने डिपॉजिट करने के बाद वहाँ मैराजो आइलैंड बनाए मोर देन थ्री थाउजेंड किलोमीटर्स अवे फ्रॉम द ब्राजील मेन लैंड इन एटलांटिक ओशन वी आर हैविंग मराइन आइलैंड सो मराइन आइलैंड आर लोकेटेड इन दी These islands are mostly rocky and they are top of submerged mountain. So, ये islands क्या है ये mountain का mountain के ऊपर के part है Mountain जो submerged होता है समुद्र के बीच में mountain होता है उसका top most part जो हमें बाहर दिखता है that is island. So, this दिस आईलैंड आर थ्री हंड्रेड किलोमीटर अवे फ्रॉम ब्राजील द आईलैंड नियर द कोस्ट ऑफ साउथ अटलांटिक ओशन आर कोरल आईलैंड एंड दे आर कॉल्ड दे आर कॉल्ड एस एटॉल्स इन इंडिया अंदमान निकोबार आईलैंड और लक्ष्मदीप आईलैंड आर ऑल्सो कोरल आईलैंड और एटॉल्स Prana de Casino or Casino Beach is the most uh, southernmost beach of Brazilian coast on the South Atlantic Ocean. It is it considers it, it is considered to be the longest sandy beach in the world. It is continuous beach extending from more than 2000 200 kilometers. So 200 kilometers long beach is name of the beach is Casino Beach or Prana de Casino Beach. It is longest beach in the world. It is located in Brazil. So hope you have understood about the physiographic divisions of Brazil. so in the next part we will study about the river system or drainage system in brazil so there are important rivers like amazon river which is one of the biggest river longest river in the world or we are having paraguay river parana river san francisco river so we will study about different rivers in brazil if you have understood this part please share the video with your friends and please subscribe to the channel also tell your friends to subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching